Hey there, I'm the Mad Catster and am I glad to see you here? This video is a little different than my usual videos. Just over a year ago, I decided to ditch my Comcast cable home internet completely and I switched to T-Mobile's 5G wireless home internet. And I'm gonna tell you what my experience has been, what the pros and cons are, and whether I think you should try it when you get the chance. So I'm gonna tell you about it now and let's get into it. Just as a precursor to all of this, I am in no way sponsored by T-Mobile or anybody. I don't get any free service. I don't get any money. I don't get any kind of break or any kind of promotion at all. So everything I'm telling you is 100% my opinion from my experience only. Okay, it's all genuine from what I've experienced. So just to get that out of the way. So there is no promotion here at all. So. A couple of years ago, I decided to do what they call, you know, cord cutting. And I decided first to get rid of my Comcast cable service. And, you know, at that point, there really weren't that many options in terms of the internet. So I kept my high speed internet through them because really it was either that or DSL where I live. And so I thought, well, I'll keep the Comcast. So anyways, I got rid of the TV portion and I tried basically every cable TV streaming service that there is out there. And they were all pretty much very similar. I had at and slash direct TV service for a while. And I kind of like that one the best, but I realized after a while that I don't watch television like I used to, you know, it's like, like back in the day, I had a TiVo, which was, you know, the, the beginning of DVRs before they went virtual, before they went digital. And I had TiVo. And so TiVo would, you know, I had all these programs I watched. TiVo would record what I wanted and then I would watch it. I never really watched live TV ever, even when streaming services weren't big. But, you know, it was more and more television outlets and media companies started putting out their streaming services and apps. It really became clear to me that I really didn't need to pay for all of the cable I was getting. I really didn't like the fact that I had to pay to get all these channels I didn't even watch. So what I started doing was first I tried the streaming version of cable and that was great. But again, like I said, I realized that you know, why am I paying for this? You know, there's only certain shows that I watch. Some of them are at different times of the year. So I'm not necessarily needing all of these channels again, all at the same time. So what I did was I stopped doing that too. And that saved me a lot of money every month. But what I started doing was signing up for the streaming services, like through the different major networks and cable networks, because there were certain shows I wanted to watch. And what I do is I watch the show I want to watch and I usually will unless it's something I really can't wait for I'll usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll subscribe and I'll binge watch the shows that I really like and then I'll pause that subscription and then I'll act reactivate another one and I'll watch the shows that I wanted to watch on there etc and I keep bouncing around and it's worked out to be a lot cheaper than paying every month to have all these channels I don't watch. But also, of course, I have Netflix. I have Hulu, although I'm finding as time has gone by, I'm not watching Hulu nearly as much as I used to. I'm primarily watching Netflix and Amazon Prime, which I have. So I'm probably going to pause my Hulu subscription because I'm paying for it every month and I'm really not watching it. Netflix I do watch and actually I chose the T-Mobile internet service for my home because I, I had my phone service with T-Mobile and I actually get my Netflix as a perk through the plan I have. I get it for free. So I actually don't pay for Netflix. So anyways, went from the cable TV to the streaming TV version of cable to just now subscribing only to certain streaming services when I, there's things I want to watch. And then I, like I said, I bounce around and pause them when I'm not using them. But my biggest pet peeve in the whole world is I hated having the cable company because you never paid what they told you you were going to pay because there was this charge and that charge and this fee and that fee. So the concept of 5G wireless home internet has sort of been buzzing around in tech circles in the cord cutting circles for a while. And I've been waiting and waiting and I was always searching and searching for some alternative that I could get to cable internet that would be cheaper and that would be just as good and nothing, nothing, nothing. I put my name on all kinds of waiting lists where they said they would notify me when it's available. And I put one of the places I put my name was on T-Mobile's 5G home internet. And so last February in 2021, at the height of the pandemic, when I was working from home 100% and again, started thinking, about this issue, all of a sudden, one day in my email, I get a notification that, hey, 5G home internet is now available where you live. And I was like, no way, this is awesome. So 
I decided to give it a try and what I did was I kept my Comcast cable set up and just in case because obviously if it was a disaster or it wasn't going to be enough to uh, for me to work that that's Clarice who just jumped in front of the camera or if it didn't have the right enough speed or if it lagged or you know whatever if it had some kind of issues I would be able to just plug my Comcast back in and I would have my high speed internet obviously I can't be without internet because I'm everything I do I work from home I do a lot of video conferencing so anyways I signed up and what was amazing was it's $50 flat a month for unlimited home internet. I was like, you've got to be kidding. $50 for unlimited high-speed internet. And they send you the device for free. So what you get is, or what I got anyways, I know they've had a couple different versions, but so they sent me this and basically it's the cable modem that receives the cable signal, obviously from towers. It's also is a router. So if you don't have a router, you don't need anything else. This can do the whole job for you, the, the router and the modem right in here. When it came, what you have to do is you have to sort of go around your house and find like the place where you get the best signal from them. I'm kind of lucky because where I live, there's, there's a 5G tower for T-Mobile not far from my house. So when I plugged it in, you know, I had to experiment in a couple of places, but I put it in my bedroom on one of the nightstands and there I got all five bars so 100% superb signal so I hooked it up and then even though it has the router function I decided to keep my router I have a really high-end Wi-Fi 6 router for my house and then I have like another extender so I have really good coverage for my router in the house and I also like the features there's you know like all kinds of security features and different things that you can do with the high-end router not that there's anything wrong with the built-in router it looks perfectly fine to me but I just opted and you can what you do is you hook a regular network cable that goes from the unit to your your external router if you want to keep your own router so anyways all i had to do is plug it in there were some brief steps that i went through to activate it and you can do it you can actually uh, log into the modem from your computer and it took me i don't know 10 15 minutes to do that and then i set up the access points on my router and disconnected the comcast and i was waiting to find out that it was going to be a disappointment. I figured this is never going to be enough capacity to do all the video conferencing I do and all the streaming home devices and my phone and computers and the TVs I have with in every room with devices on them. And shock of all shocks, believe it or not, I don't notice any difference between the service I'm getting through my $50 a month with that and I don't have to rent this thing so I pay $50 a month and actually they have a discount if you sign up for auto pay they'll deduct another I think it's five dollars comes off your bill so it's even cheaper so for one flat fee with no hidden costs I get unlimited 5g home internet and I have to tell you I've been using it now for 14 months rarely ever is there has there been a hiccup and a rare occasion I might get a little buffering, but I think it's more to do with the device I'm using and not the signal, but that's very infrequent. Very infrequently you, you reboot the modem because you know, I don't know, these things they get like clogged or whatever. And I don't know what I don't know what the technical term is, but you know, occasionally I'll have to reboot it. If I notice anything is slowed down, usually what I do is I go up and I reboot the modem and then it's perfectly fine. I've got my computer, my phone is on it. I've got a TV in my living room, my bedroom, and my kitchen that are all have devices. I have internet TV devices on my TV in my bedroom, my living room, and I have my TV in the kitchen. It's an Amazon TV, so that's got like the built-in Amazon box in it. So that's on. I've got, I li literally have an Alexis device in every single room. I have my heat, my lighting, everything, security is all on the network too. All of these things are going all the time and it's been perfect. So I have to say, if it's available where you are, I seriously recommend it. I was so glad to say goodbye to Comcast. And what really shocked me was I figured, you know how the cable companies can be. They'll fight with you. Oh, we'll give you this. We'll give you that. I called to cancel my service. They didn't even try to sell me. They didn't try to give me a discount, nothing. So I was like, fine see ya i would never go back to cable now and if you have the opportunity to give it a try i highly recommend it and again i am not receiving any kind of promotion whatsoever from t-mobile i just i firmly believe in this because i've used it for over a year now and i can 
confidently recommend it to you to say, give it a try if you can, get rid of the cable, be free at last. The other good thing is, you know, you can it can move around with you too because it's coming through the airwaves. You don't have to worry about where's the cable outlet located. You know, you can just put your TV anywhere you want it. Doesn't matter, your computer anywhere you want it. But it's been great. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think. If you tell me what you're using, whether you have any qualms about 5G home internet, I'd like to hear from you. Tell me what services too, like with the streaming, I'm interested to know what people do. I can't be the only person that bounces around like that. But do you have some kind of cable streaming or regular cable TV? Or, or have you found like me that it's just not necessary anymore with all the streaming services? Let me know, like, subscribe. I'd appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Party, please. Subscribe, like, and hit the bell. I get a treat for every new sub. Thank you.